Ever since I was a kid, I have loved everything about aquariums. I was fascinated by coral and different species of fish that you could have in one, and I knew from that moment forward that I wanted to be in the aquarium hobby. Fast forward a couple of years, and I started working at Dallas North Aquarium. Throughout my time there, I learned everything I could possibly learn about the hobby and moved forward after a number of years. Eventually, I started working with Fritz Aquatics. It has now been seven years since I have been working with Fritz, and throughout those seven years, I have built relationships with some of the largest companies, aquatic facilities, and influencers around the aquarium world. Now, it's our turn. Fritz is taking it to the next level and showing you things that you may never have seen before. We have some amazing content in store for you, including a day in the life at fish stores, a how it's made series, where we show you how some of your favorite products are made around the industry. We want to bring you along on our travels to aquarium stores, some of the largest public aquariums and aquatic facilities around the world. I hope you enjoy our adventures as much as I do. My name is Sean Hale and welcome to the Fritz Aquatics channel. Hello, that's me right there, driving through one of the worst storms I've ever seen. And you might even be wondering how I got here. So stay tuned because this story is a good one. All right, guys, here we are in Wisconsin to pick up Max. We're at his house now, and it's about 8.45 at night. Uh, we have a long drive ahead of us, uh, a few stops at some stores, and uh, so we better get moving right now. Um, let's go grab him. He's got a nice little place. Oh, he sees us coming. He's already opening the door. All right, I was trying to beat you to the punch. I was gonna do my secret knock. Guys, uh, he's not this much taller than me. He's on the step. Um, this is uh, this is Max. You guys will be thankful to know he's taking over the videography from here for the rest of the trip. Um, Max, did you see this bad boy we brought? I did. You guys parked it right in my driveway. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get it into your grass though. So um, is that gonna be big enough? Is that gonna be big enough for all your stuff? Oh yeah, I only have a. I only need a quarter of that. So okay, good, yeah. so uh, we brought the big truck because we're so lucky to have, uh, <laughs> Nick owns this bad boy, so we didn't have to rent one, save a few bucks, but we do have to move quick because we got to load it up and we have a long drive, 16 hours and a few stops. Let's get going. <laughs> Guys, here we are at Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. We wanted to make this one of the stops we take on the way down from Wisconsin to give you guys something to look at on our epic trip. So Nick, the owner, who is actually yep. the driver of this trip. The chauffeur. Yes, is gonna walk us through right now. Torches and frog spawns. This nice one. How much is this bad boy right here? This right here alone is like a thousand bucks, right? Probably, but yep. yeah. Well, I know that one's at least a thousand bucks because that's golden. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice. I have no idea, honestly. I don't want to <laughs> You have no idea. You own like, the shop. I, I can get ranges. You bought but, like, this. You bought I mean, this. Do you just give your employees a blank check? No, I mean, I just like. It was like, oh, that's cool. Let's put it in there. 
Yeah. Max, that's a Borbonius Antheus. That is one of the most bad to the bone fish in the hobby. Yeah, that's why it's two of them in there. All right, Nick, show me what you got here. This is uh, my magical mushroom. Uh, it's a St. Thomas. I don't know what it's actually called, but uh, it's pretty cool. This little guy, he likes to host it. It's, kind of, it's really funny. Maybe he'll go over there and do it for us. Uh, it's like his home. How much is that mushroom? Um, well, it's not really for sale, so like everything's for sale. Yeah, if, I mean, if someone came in and offered me like three grand for it, I'd take, probably take. There you it. have it. It's three grand. Kachink. Look at these cocoa worms! Wow, that's a nest right there. Everyone says like alligators don't do good, but those guys like they actually grow. So they're all exactly the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Gingerbread this cookie one, cutter. This one's a little bit bigger, honestly. I think that one uh, might need to get cut again. But no, come on in cool. right now. Get yourself a cookie cutter elegance at Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the aquarium that someone was stealing out of? Uh, yeah. This one right here. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Check check out the clip below. Someone stealing from Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. <laughs> no, that was uh, that was here when Joan was here. Joan uh, was working the store for like one day and uh, she let someone walk out with coral. You've got that side of the table, I've got this side of the table. I need a partition. This is gonna work perfectly no, as a partition. We don't need a... No, you can't look over at my side. Oh my god. Are we going like, how are we doing this? Like, okay, we've got, each got five minutes to right. skate our sides. I say, I say two minutes. We've each got... We're doing a fresh water rock escape with two minutes, okay. No, no, I, we, we need five. <laughs> five, you can't do a freshwater aqua escape in two minutes. Five is the minimum. I mean, it sticks in rocks, mate. Okay, five minutes. Yeah. Don't look over at my side. Don't look at my side. All right. It's a free for all once we get in there. Yeah. No one goes first. We just get in there, we grab our rocks, we need wood, we escape on our sides. Done in five minutes. All right? Great. I've got a timer. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Are you ready? Go. Oh, this, you know, it's not fair because you know where everything's at. <laughs> John, you better hurry up. I know. He's already, he's already unwrapping. <laughs> How you feeling, John? I feel confident as ever. You gonna get this or what? I got this. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm definitely gonna win. You think you got this? Yeah. 100%? Yep. Yeah, you probably got this. Oh, there it is. Wow. Hands up. <laughs> All right, you guys saw it. I, I didn't touch anything after five minutes, and here's my scape. There's Nick's. Vote and comment down below who won and who's going to Disneyland, okay? We're going to Disneyland? Let Nick add some substrate to his. Let's see if he makes it look better. It's pretty good. I didn't know I could open up rocks. He was opening up rocks. I didn't know I could open up dirt. <laughs> well, once he opened up the rocks, I knew I could open up the dirt, okay? <laughs> I think it's obvious. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. Yeah, so. Sean's, Sean's right. leaving. You guys have a nice day. All right. I'll see you in a couple minutes at the car. There you guys have it. This is Gingerbread Tropical Fishing Coral. Make sure you come check it out if you're in the Chicagoland area. For now, we gotta go. All right, guys. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. 
This store we're gonna go in next is a super nice saltwater specific store and you definitely have to make a stop here if you're in the area. So we're gonna jump in there, check it out, and then get back on the road. All right guys, the reason why I wanted to stop here is because it's one of the nicer shops I've been to. It actually has tons of aquariums on the floor so you can see what they would look like in person and a lot of scapes within it so you can see just how you might lay it out. Lots of coral to purchase, lots of fish to look at. So definitely a stop if you're in the area to check out. So we actually found a coral that we're gonna snag and I wanted to show it to you guys just so I can kind of give you an example of what you might do at an aquarium store yourself. So Nick here found one he likes and it's this zoanthic colony right here with the orange edges here. Um, that colony has probably about 20 polyps on it. It's about 50 bucks. We're gonna go ahead and snag that because he wants to grow it out to a piece that might would be over here around this size and that's you know, that might be years of growth for a zoanthic colony, but that's your ultimate goal, is to get it about that big. So we're gonna go ahead and snag that while we're here and be on our way. I like your park job. Yeah, Pretty, yeah it's super it good. Cause the, uh, the salon didn't like Sean's parking job. Oh, wow. So it's not any fault to Sean, it was just, we said that was the easiest spot to go to. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of might be a little difficult to get a 26 foot box truck in a single parking spot. Um, yeah, I mean, John did it. He got it. I in, got it in. He got it in a single parking spot. It was in one parking spot, but it just. It just might have been a little longer than that parking feet spot. Longer than the parking spot uh, allowed for. So. Right. So Still within the lines. For some I mean, reason, it's better to one, take two, three, six. four, five, yeah. maybe <laughs> seven even. <laughs> I think I got seven spots covered. All right, on to Texas. We got one more stop there. You're gonna love that shop. It's gonna be Dallas North Aquarium. I actually worked there for about six years um, while I was in college. So not all those years I was in college, but some of them. Finally made it to Dallas North Aquarium. This is the end of our trip. This is one of the most massive stores in the entire country. They have a giant fresh and salt water room. They have a lot of tanks in stock that you can actually purchase here today. And they've got a pretty large service company. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. Sean. Hey, what's up? This is the general manager of Dallas North Aquarium. You've been here for how many years? 25. He, he actually used to work with me, so he had to put up with me when I was very young. Um, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. You can tell by his face. Yeah. He just had a, a very fun time. One thing that I wanted to show everybody here at Dallas North Aquarium is your massive fish room, because everybody knows about that. Can you show it right, yeah. to us? Come right. on back. This brings back crazy memories on the floor with one of these shirts on, helping customers. But now we're here today with Sean. All right, so we've got it's our big fish room. That side's salt water, that side's fresh water. We've got our kind of custom plant set up right here. We just got a full load of plants in. That's why it's packed right now. By Sunday afternoon, it will not be packed. And this is so much bigger than it used to be because you, oh, yeah. this was actually much smaller. You'd have to go around the corner here and David Pitts was always here, right? Yeah, and it was and, just this big. Yes, That's and it. then we pick out our plants. This is when plants was a much smaller game for aquariums. In fact, I would never be on this side, right? No, like I had, you were allergic to this I was side. allergic to fresh water. Yeah. I only stayed right over here on the salt water side because this was where my home was. And then you had David Pitt, Steve Kuhn, yeah. Chris Sawyers, all the main players. back in the day. Yes. So what do you, you got, got here? One coral pond here. So then we've got the whole fish wall. One cool story from when I used to be here before is in this tank right here, they keep all their hermit crabs, right? So you gotta, they're tiny. You gotta grab them, put them in the bag, and you start to lose count, right? And so you like, you put 50, 50 in a bag, and it looks like 10 because they're so small. So me as a sales associate, I was like, man, that's not enough. And I just threw some more in there, and I'm like, ah, it's still not enough. Threw some more in there. And then all of a sudden, they take them to the front. <laughs> Sean's there, 
and there's over 100 hermit crabs in the bag. And I said, I promise I didn't mean to do that. It just didn't look like enough. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the VIP exclusive. No, that's, I'm oh. going to show you that next, next. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We've got frags in here and big corals. Big and coral is something that you don't even see anymore. We go yeah. to all these aquarium stores. A lot of them don't have big, giant, massive pieces like you do. Like for one, this this big, huge mushroom rock you have back here with those velvety red mushrooms. You don't see that anymore. Nope. They sell them no. one mushroom at well, a time. Well, we do trade-ins, so that's yeah. where that came from. And then more bunch of nice thirty-dollar frags. All right. And, and then, then in the place where you have to be to, if you want to come back here, you have to have an employee with you. This is where the kind of special team. stuff is. An exclusive walkthrough tour of Dowsman's Aquarium in one place that you'll never go without somebody special. This is where we kind of keep some of the high-end torches, frog spawns. There's a yellow, a yellow rose bubble, or oh, it's a wow. yellow tip rose bubble. You don't now see that, that I haven't often. seen. No. How much is that? Uh, 500? 450? 500. That's not a bad yeah. deal. Rainbow Ghani, there's another Rainbow Ghani. There's really nice. This is kind of the torch tank. What we've got. What is this massive piece right here? That's a hide and four, right? No, it's a Space Invader Pectinia. So <laughs> I was makes... way off. <laughs> you were way off. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, you man. haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so yeah, so all different kinds of torches. This is kind of where we keep the higher end stuff. Wow, this guy has massive color. How much is this one? Uh, it's not for sale. Oh. We frag off of it. There's little babies. I can't have this? No. We almost killed that about five years ago. Oh. It went to, and I was going to throw it away, and one of my employees said, no, I'm just, still alive. they were like, man, let's just give it another couple days. Like, okay, but it's dead. You hear that, guys? And, Never give up on your yeah. coral. And like four months later, it was happy again. This is amazing. Yeah. And now it's not for sale. And now it's not for sale because yeah. we frag off of it. There's little frags for it. Can we, can we work something out? No. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. One other thing that you have here that I want to show everyone is the massive selection of aquariums that you have in stock. Yeah. Because that's not something that we don't normally see is people with aquariums in stock. You have to order it, you have to wait. Yeah, so we- you guys have it here? I think we have the most aquariums actually in stock out of anywhere I've ever been in the country. Right. So I probably went the wrong way actually because most of the aquariums are over there, but here's some of the in stock aquariums. Hey, Chip, we're on video. We'll come back and talk to you. <laughs> Champ is one of my old customers here that I took care of many years ago, so he's still coming. That's how much he loves aquariums. And then more aquariums here. So these are kind of the smaller ones, 90, 100, 75. So if I want a big tank, I can come here and douse them with aquarium. Yeah, we keep a 310 in stock all the time. 310 gallons. Yeah, that's the 310. We keep multiple, like six 215s in stock. Look at this massive piece of driftwood. What kind of wood is this? Uh, they call it dragon root. I see this in our future. We're gonna set up some tanks later at, at Fritz. I think we'll find a piece of this for us. Where did you get this? Uh, DFW. DFW for mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, from we there. know where to go. Yep, I got or lots of it in. Sean will just get us a piece. Or I'll get you a piece, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, we can go see the service bay if you want. Yes, they do have a massive service department. Let's yeah. go check that out. Let's go. I remember this. Air of Dallas with Aquarium, this is where you clock in. You have a hand scanner. Put it in there. I would put number 23, clock in, and you'd tell me I was late. Sean would look at me like, one more late and you lose your commission. This is our service bay. We've got an RO machine that makes 5,000 gallons a day. It's not on right now because the vats are full, but this is some mm -hmm. of the service water. Hey, look at this, guys. Not the product place, but this is RPM salt. This is in every single Dallas Motor Aquarium system, right? Yes. Yes. We use it in the store and sell it in service. All right. Nice stuff. All right. One more thing I want to see here, um, Sean, is, is you guys do something special here that I don't see at a lot of stores. Mm -hmm. You bring aquariums back to life. And that is because you take in used equipment, used aquariums, people that have maybe moved away, but for some reason, or maybe they upgraded. These tanks come back to the Dallas North Aquarium to have an all new life. Maybe somebody just now getting in the industry, doesn't have a massive budget, comes up here and they give it an opportunity to buy something used that they can put some TLC in and make something really cool. Every week we kind of have a different selection. We sell a lot of used aquariums. Right now we have six in stock, but we probably have two out back. You even have this little guy. We even have a 10 gallon, For which is way overpriced. So <laughs> we'll fix that. I don't know why anybody would buy a $20 10 gallon when they're new for $20.
For two dollars, you can buy this used aquarium. But it's probably gonna be five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah. I wanted uh, to give them two. We make sure that they're not leaking. We t usually take them down running or at least see water in them before we take them back. So you're not going to take it to your house and have water all over your floor. They don't have a warranty, but they're also super cheap. So it's a good way for somebody to get in the hobby. One thing that we should do is we should get one of these aquariums in the future, fix it up, and show people what we can do with a used aquarium. I'll get it, you, we'll, we'll find the nastiest one dude. and then you can clean it up and see how good you can make okay, it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Sean is going to call me when he finds the dirtiest, nastiest aquarium. And Max and I, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna, with the house the aquarium, grab this bad boy, take it back to Fritz, we'll clean it up and we'll show you what we can do with the U-System. Yeah, we'll <laughs> do it all the time. Well, Sean, thank you so much sure. for showing us the house the aquarium. This is an excellent place. If you're in the DFW area, this is a can't miss place. And this is the end of our tour. So thank you so much, guys. That's a wrap. Sean, right. we'll see you next time. All right, guys, here we are in Texas. We finally made it. What a long and exhausting trip, but super exciting to get Max in town to start and launch this channel. It's gonna be an amazing time filming and giving this content to you guys. I wanna give a special thanks to Nick for letting us use his truck to make this happen. Max, you're behind the camera, but I'm super excited to have you on the team. Get ready for some awesome content. That's a wrap. Snailed it.